Tyler Wade left the game today, Michael. Oh, that's not good. Tightness in both hips. He's heading oh back goodness. to Tampa to be evaluated. I mean, they're, they're turning into a mass unit. So you have yesterday, um, Dellen Batanza starts on the IL. Severino today in the ballpark behind me threw 50 pitches. Didn't feel any pain, but those are, he's tossing the ball. He's not throwing sliders, so that doesn't tell me anything. Aaron Hicks is dealing with a back problem where he's had two quarter zone shots. We'll start the season on the IL. I mean, Tyler Wade was going to make this team. He's going to be an important part of this team. I, I, said, I said earlier today, um, another person I work with, actually these two people, Louie and the person I'm about to mention, Patty Duke, actually do a sports podcast together called Ball Busters. Go check that out. But Patty's the biggest Yankee fan I know. Staten Island, literally the single thickest New York accent you'll ever hear. And he walks in and I go, hey, man, what's up with uh, Dylan Batances? And he was like, hey, listen, listen. We're going to win 105 games. We're built for the spring. The schedules benefits us. We're going to be just fine. Nothing to worry about. And I, and I said to him, all right, I got to ask you, though, wh what injury will it take before you go, okay, this is becoming a problem? It would be judge. And that's what he said. So right. is the only thing judge has to have, like, a, a, a vulture come down and decapitate him? That is the only way anyone cares about these injuries? At some point... There's going to be some worry that it's not a guarantee that you just roll through April missing half your team. Not good. Not good. It's hard to ignore what's going on. It really is. You could try, and you could try to put lipstick on a pig, and, and your friend Louie is right. They have an extraordinarily easy schedule to open up the season. The first nine games are against the projected worst teams in baseball. Six against the Orioles, three against the Tigers. Doesn't get worse than that. So you should be able yeah. to absorb that. But no CC, no Severino, no Batances, no Hicks, Who no Ellsbury. Worst team in baseball last year, Baltimore, right? Right. And lost. the Tigers should be just as bad. Lost, but you lost to them six times last year. And I believe all six came fairly early in the season. Yep. So it's not a foregone conclusion that you're, you, you should win those games. I think they will. But maybe, maybe there's a couple of games you lose that maybe you would have won. Hey, Michael, you you can lose a division in April. I've seen it. And let's You've not, seen it. Let's not forget, guys. <laughs> it's the game of baseball. We're, we're acting like just because Detroit and Baltimore are worse than the Yankees, that it, it, it couldn't go a certain way, and you come out of those first nine games, three and six, and you're dealing again with the Red Sox team that could very easily turn around and be in their eight and one. And that, that's a difficult way to start a season. And I'm, the Red Sox are opening in better weather. They're opening on the West Coast. Better teams, but better weather. Yankees and, you know, Yankees are going to be playing on March 28th on the East Coast, so good luck with that.